The paint bucket tool applies the current fill, stroke, or both to the objects that you click. When the paint bucket is selected, there are three options in the toolbar, fill, stroke, or both. First, we use the Select Shape tool to select the star. The style window displays the fill and stroke properties for the star. Then we switch to the paint bucket and choose the both option from the toolbar. Then click the shape that you want to change. The fill and stroke from the star are applied to the second object. Click an empty space to deselect the object that you changed. Now you'll change only the fill color of the star. Select a new fill color in the style window. Then choose the fill option in the toolbar. When you click the star, the fill color changes, but the stroke color remains the same. Click on an empty space on the workspace again to deselect the star. Now you'll change the stroke properties in the style window. Select a stroke color of your choice and set the width to 12. When you choose the stroke option, it changes the stroke of an object without affecting the fill. Here we change the stroke of the rectangle to purple. If the object that you want to change exists on a different layer, select the layer from the Layers palette. Then click the object that you want to change with the Paint Bucket tool. The shapes that you fill don't have to be welded closed. For example, here we have a closed shape that is made of four overlapping strokes that aren't welded together. Simply click to fill the closed area. The Paint Bucket creates a new shape that you can edit separately from the object that you filled. 